Purchasing an ASIC miner, big or small, is a large investment. Once you get it home, it's critical to keep it up and running 24-7. But what if there was a tool to make managing your home ASICs easier? What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, as a home crypto miner, I've gone ahead and diversified some of my hardware. I have GPU miners, I have helium miners, I have mini ASIC gold shell miners, and I have some full-size ASIC miners. And I'll be honest, it sucks having to go ahead and log into each of my ASIC miners just to make sure like one that they're hashing or that everything's working properly, that my rejection rate isn't too high but i found a tool to make this significantly easier and i'm excited to share it with you guys today so many of you guys know about hive os right if you're a gpu miner like me you've been using hive os or maybe windows to manage your gpu mining rigs well what if that same tool could work for your mini asic miners or your full-size asic miners well hive os has a tool that i have not looked at or messed with before until more recently i didn't even know it existed and what is it called? It's called the HiveOS ASIC Hub. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through installing, setting it up, and testing it out with my S19J Pro. So I want to let you guys know that this video isn't sponsored by HiveOS, that they haven't asked me to promote this product. I've just been using it and I really, really like it. And I thought, hey, I'll share it with you guys today. All right, so if you go over to HiveOS.com, you can actually click the ASIC Hub at the very top. And you're going to come to this page and I recommend reading through it and you can kind of learn a little bit more about the ASIC hub. It can be used for a variety of different things. I found that some bigger farms use it for massive deployments. In addition to that, you have a variety of different things that you can monitor with the ASIC hub. As you can see here, you can do hash rate and fan speeds and power consumption and temperature tracking, all that stuff you can utilize the ASIC hub for. In addition to that, what I really like as a home crypto miner, and I thought you would as well, is the notifications feature. So traditionally I use HiveOS for GPU mining rigs. Well, you can use it with your ASICs as well, and you can get notifications through things like Telegram or Discord. So I actually use the Telegram feature um, because I only really use Telegram for HiveOS notifications. So when I get an alert, I know something's going on to let me know if that ASIC is offline or overheating or anything like that. On that same page, you can scroll down and you can see a variety of the ASICs that are supported. So today we talked about testing it out on my Bitmain S19J Pro. Now it's not on the HiveOS firmware, it's actually on the stock Bitmain firmware and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show this off with you guys. There's a variety of different other companies here, What's Miner, Avalon, Illisilicon, uh, Ebang, and Cheetah. Now something that I have wanted to share with you guys is Let's talk about the mini ASIC miners, right? Because I'm a home miner. I have a number of those. I think I'm up to eight or nine of those. And I know some of you guys are well past that at this point. Well, they're gonna be supporting gold shell miners coming up sometime in 2023 based off of some of my conversation, not only with the ASIC hub, but possibly with the firmware as well. So we'll keep an eye out for that. And I'll have a video on that when I find out more details and when that does go ahead and launch because I am most excited about having my mini ASIC miners in the ASIC hub. All right, so let's install ASIC hub. It's pretty quick, easy, and simple to do. Keep in mind that where you install ASIC hub, like I'm gonna install it on my home computer, that you're gonna to wanna to keep that computer on. So if there's something that you have available to you that you can keep on all the time, that's probably the best place for it. So if you have a home server or some type of NAS that has like a Windows setup on it that you can utilize, that's always a good option, but something that's on most of the time. My home computer's on 24 seven, so I don't mind putting it on here. Just allows it to uh, keep up to date with contacting the ASIC to make sure it's online and available with those notifications. So we're over here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and install our ASIC hub. Once you're over there, the next screen, it says choose OS. We're gonna pick Windows and then we're going to download the installer. Once that downloads, we do have to go ahead and extract it and download it to our downloads folder. So we're gonna right click, do extract all, and we're just gonna do the default location. Once that's completed, it's going to open up and there it is, asichubsetup.exe. We're gonna double click on that. It's going to warn us, just go ahead and click the 
There's an option that says more info and we're gonna do run anyways. Once that's finished, you might get a pop-up if you have UAC on, I do. So a pop-up came up, wanted to make sure that I wanted to allow the software to install. And now here's our next screen. We're gonna hit next at this part and install. Pretty simple and pretty easy. Now it wants us to open the ASIC Hub UI. In addition to that, on your desktop, you'll actually see a new icon that says ASIC Hub. So we're gonna hit finish. It's going to open a web page. That's where you manage this. This is where you do everything. And this, pretty much we're almost done, guys. Pretty crazy, huh? So make sure that the ASIC that you want to monitor and manage is online. Mine is my S19J Pro, and then we'll take our next steps. Okay, so what's next? So I'm gonna go over and show you guys that our Bitmain Antminer S19J Pro, I just got this powered up just a few minutes ago, but you guys can see that we're on the stock firmware. So all I need from here is the IP address. So 192.168.86.24. So I'm going to come over to my ASIC hub. I'm going to do add device, and we're gonna put that in. 192.168.86.24. And we're going to hit add right here. We can add in the custom login and password. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to put in the credentials I use to log into my ASIC on the web page. All right. So once that's completed, go ahead and hit next. And you can see here that it not only shows the IP address, it also shows the type Antminer S19J Pro and it pulled the MAC address. Now, this is where we're going to connect this um, Hive hub with our actually hive os account that we're used to seeing with like our gpu mining rigs and stuff so we can put see it all under one screen as well as monitor it so it's asking you to enter the farm hash for your asic so i'm going to go over to my hive os you can see i don't really have much on right now and inside of the farm itself i'm going to hit settings and then you're going to go down and select copy to clipboard for your farm hash i'm going to copy that and we're gonna paste it. So that's just gonna take this ASIC and using your um, ASIC hub kind of as a go-between is going to add it now into your HiveOS account without actually having any HiveOS firmware on your ASIC. So we're gonna click next and that's it, we're done. We don't have to do anything else on this screen directly. Now we can go over to our normal HiveOS screen. All right, so we're over in HiveOS and take a look at the very top unit. You can see it added AntMiner and it shows the hash rate right there. It's showing me my RPM speeds for the fans. It's showing me my temperatures for the ASIC hash boards. It's showing me everything. So I can go ahead and click on that and then I can do a lot of things in here. You can view all the stats on your ASIC in the flight sheet. I can't really do anything in here because I don't have the HiveOS firmware yet, but this is where you would manage it if you had the HiveOS firmware. They do offer it for the S19J Pro. In addition to that, you can come into settings and you can rename it. So I'm gonna put here just Bitmain Antminer S19J Pro, and you could add any additional notes or anything like that if you're interested. So now the nice thing is, is like I have notifications turned on within Hive OS. And if you guys aren't familiar how to do that, I actually have a full video inside and out for two different ways, one for Discord and one for Telegram. So if you're interested, I'll put a link directly down below in the description as well in the upper right-hand corner to show you guys exactly how to do that. And there we go. We have our Bitmain Antminer S19J Pro in the Hive OS hub and it's awesome. It works really well. I use this to keep up to date on my ASIC, make sure everything's running. I can easily see on one screen, I actually have it on TV now, it's like a dashboard, so I can see all my uh, equipment up and running at any given time. Now, what I'm hoping for for the future. So I'll be honest, what I'm most excited about is what Hive OS mentioned to me is that the fact that they're looking to integrate Gold Shell moving forward. And that's huge to me because I don't know about you guys, but I got a handful of those Gold Shell Mini ASIC miners. And I hate the fact it's on one of my task lists that I do every week is like I bring up all the IPs and I log into them. Or if you're all in the same pool, you load up a pool, you can check them all in there. It'd be great just to have them all in one spot. So I'm most excited for that. So Hive OS, if you're watching, let's get gold shells added in here in Q1. I don't need firmware for the gold shells. I'd love it though. Oh my gosh, if we had gold shell firmware with the Hive OS, oh, that'd be awesome. But I'll take the Hive OS ASIC hub feature to be supported for the gold shells. That would be a huge win. Well, guys, let me know how you make out. I'd love to hear from you guys and what ASICs you decide to go ahead and put on the Hive Hub. If you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Over the last 12 months, I've been working with a handful of designers on a special project. 
and I'm excited to announce that that project is now live. Let me introduce you to a new apparel web store, hobbyistminers.store. Hardware merch for enthusiasts just like you and I. Working with a few designers, we decided to launch the store with 17 unique NVIDIA Founders Edition graphics card designs. These designs are all custom made, unique, and one of a kind. What's your favorite Founders Edition? Was it the GTX 1080 Ti or maybe the RTX 2080? We can't forget about the RTX 3060 Ti or how about everyone's favorite, the RTX 3070. So what's different about hobbyistminers.store? Well, every three months, these designs will be decommissioned and gone forever, making them a limited time run. But no fear, every three months, brand new designs will be released of your favorite graphics cards. To give you an idea, hobbyistminers.store has 68 designs in reserve to be released over the next 12 months. Go check out hobbyistminers.store today and their winter collection, only for sale until March 31st, then they're gone. But no fear, the spring collection is standing by. Go check it out, www.hobbyistminers.store.